I've gone back to 2020 to pick a song from this today's guest called Yasmin Bean, Yandri from a 2020 album, simply because she's releasing a new album. And so to introduce her slowly onto my channel and through the side door, as they would say in English, I've chosen this particular acoustic version from a church where she has released her top singles and sung them in an acoustic form. And I think it's a wonderful way of introducing the rawness of what this artist, Yasmin Bean, is all about. Because her music mightn't be to everybody's taste, but when people convert to acoustic versions in, in a church, we can almost, in some ways, forgive the ensemble that she is famous for already has garnered a lot of fans and interest and is becoming, I would say, a global hit already, simply because she's so individual. Some have said that she is like a Spanish singer and I've got her on my channel, Martinez, and others have said that she is like the female love child of Marilyn Manson because of her music and her look and when I thought about that I thought yeah if Marilyn Manson had a musical love child it probably would be Yasmin Bean and she'd probably find that very flattering because Marilyn Manson is legendary and this young woman is certainly up there with that form of look and pop music that's going to make her a legend in her own right. It's hard to believe somebody so young can attract so much attention not because of her look because of how she writes songs and delivers them as you're going to see now this is track three of the worldwide torture the re-up 2020 but of course we need to find out who she is and that's what i'm here about she is yasmin adams known as yasmin bean an english singer songwriter internet internet celebrity makeup artist based in london she first gained attention for her extreme makeup looks. She self-released her debut extended play Worldwide Torture in 2019, which was later reissued in 2020 through Interscope and Island Records. Her next album called Traumatic Livelihood is set for release. Now I've looked around, it's not released at the moment, but I'm sure it will be very soon. Now, as regards her personal life, Bean is on the autism spectrum. She's agender and uses they and them pronouns to define her gender, which is non-binary and gender queer, which are umbrella terms for gender identities that are not solely male or female. They sometimes wear a chest binder. Now, in the past, she spent several months in rehabilitation clinic for a ketamine addiction. And prior to this, she had written the majority of her debut album was on drugs, but decided to scrap all of those songs after recovering to avoid any sense of woe and rewritten the whole album, of which we have track number three. Today's song itself, I'll give you a synopsis as well. And it's all live, so I'm setting everything up as I speak to you. The song Yandere by Yasmin Bean seems to be apparently about a person who has an obsessive and possessive look for somebody. Now we've all been there, all of us. I wouldn't say I had a possessive, obsessive, probably, <coughs> at one time. And the term Yandere, which everybody be wondering what it means, actually refers to a character, archetype, in anime or a manga, which usually describes a character who is initially sweet and charming, but becomes violent and dangerous when their love interest is threatened or rejected. Now being overly protective about somebody to the point of craziness, I tell you there's a lot more people out there than you think are like that. I have been in the company of people where when I have gotten on with their partners and you know the way two people would come sit down hi how are you and we get chatting and then you have an affiliation to one of them 
boy, when the conversation was finished and you look at the face of the partner, you could see intense jealous, jealousy and a waywardness that you felt so uncomfortable that you either had to change table or just leave the company and make a quick excuse to disappear. That does exist and this is the first time I've dealt with it. Now the lyrics are short and sweet, I have to say, but so is this woman and so is this song and I will discuss the lyrics straight after. Welcome Yasmin Bean in 2023 to my channel and I know the attention that you get from this video going viral will attract a lot more reactors to your music as well and give you that place that you want to be at this point in your life which is being recognized for the sheer wonderment and talent that you are. It's a simple song, it's a great delivery, but it'll leave a lasting impression. And that's what Yasmin Bean does. And she's incredible. Take it away. I don't know, I just like you and anyone who gets in the way, darling, might get a hand. Full of some shit or stay heavy hearted I know we all want one that's not my fucking problem stay near and you'll have nothing to fear this might get a little messy I'm sure Strolling for the one I adore This may become a little brutal if I'm honest But it's any anything for you, my dear, I promise You know I like you And anyone who gets in my way, darling Might get a handful of some shit or stay heavy hearted because it's cut throat to anyone who comes close. Be mine and everything will be fine. This might get a little messy, I'm sure. So brutal if I'm honest But it's any, anything for you, my dear, I promise This might get a little messy, I'm sure Heads rolling for the one I adore This may become a little brutal if I'm honest But it's any, anything for you, my dear, I promise This might get a little messy, I'm sure Heads rolling for the one I adore This may become a little brutal if I'm honest But it's any, anything for you, my dear, I promise This might get a little messy, I'm sure Heads rolling for the one I adore This may become a little brutal if I'm honest But it's any, anything for you, my dear, I promise Well, that's your introduction to Yasmin Bean. And I tell you, she has a presence. She has a delivery and she has a crystal, crystal clarity in her voice when she delivers. And I'm sure live, she's awesome as well. Welcome, Yasmin. What a find. I'm really delighted to bring you on board and to support your career because that's what I'm all about. When it comes to the opening line, we'll just bring it up now. Verse one says, I don't know, I just like you. And anyone who gets away in the way, honey, might get a handful of some 
and I can't use the because of the profanity laws on YouTube, the S word, but it comes from your orifice. Or stay heavy hearted. I know we all want one. That's not my, and I'll say effing problem. Stay near and you'll have nothing to fear. The chorus says, this might get a little messy, I'm sure. Heads rolling for the one I adore. This might, may become a little brutal, if I'm honest. But it's anything for you, my dear. I promise. So there we have throughout the song, she expressing a desire for the object of her affection. Quite forcibly so as well. And if anybody stands in the way, they are going to get it verbally and physically as in, I'm going to rip the head of your shoulders if you flirt or try and come between us. There'll be no wedges allowed, both with the eyes or, or verbally or physically in regards to my partner. What is mine is mine is very much what hits you with those opening lines because of that protectiveness about the affection. And anybody who gets in the way, straight away you, you feel, ooh, 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 and it's that, that they might face consequences. And you, you ask yourself straight away, like I said, I've been in the company of people where this has happened on numerous occasions in the last two or three decades of my life, um, working life, and you just feel, oh, enough is enough. I'm actually very reclusive. I have a wonderful outgoing personality and I apply that to work situations. But on my own, I have learned over the years, I prefer to walk my dog, sit with myself, have a coffee, converse very lightly, nothing too heavy, and go home. I am, I am tired of having the long chats being, <laughs> being this, which people say my personality is very attractive and it's very infectious, I make people laugh. But boy, have I seen the repercussions of that. So I can relate to these, um, to people like Yasmin saying, don't cross that line. Because she says both physical and emotional things might happen. So she'll verbally say something and probably physically. And Yasmin's also all consuming love. Comes across like she'll do anything to keep that person and that love for her under any circumstances and sometimes that can blink in your vision and that can make you antisocial unappealing and has a detrimental effect on your partner where people don't invite let's say yasmin's partner to functions or parties no yasmin will come no way am i going to be in their company and it's okay for me to be a recluse because i'm i choose to be as regards i'm not like that when it comes to love in fact i'm the opposite my partner can go anywhere he wants do whatever the hell he wants be in as much company as he wants travel abroad as many times as he wants but i don't do any of that when i'm at home i'm at home for me my dog my thoughts my writing because i'm an author of three books so far and five more pending and i have because it'll be a series of children's mm. books. And I also have um, this channel. So I keep myself busy with my things and I don't want to bring in at my stage of life other things into my life, but that's choice. But if you're with somebody and you're in the company and you have this attitude, and Yasmin is quite this, um, is saying, at, when, I'm, when I fall in love, I fall in love so hard, I'm, I'm overly protective, which is evident it's almost like I can't be bothered. There's no way I'm going to be in the company of this person. Not a hope. So she would be a recluse, but for the, in my estimation, the wrong reasons. And I'd say a lot of you can relate to that. You're your own worst enemy when you become like that. But the lines repeats, heads rolling for the one I adore. And this may become brutal, if I'm honest. Backs everything I've just said suggest that she's not afraid to become violent or cause harm to anyone who threatens her relationship. And that's actually worrying. That's when I would say, quite bluntly, you need therapy. Go and get it. 
and I have said that to a couple of people and don't stop the therapy for the rest of your life because once you have that embedded in you you end up in life being on your own with no friends no lover to talk about because justifiably so if you haven't gone to therapy and you haven't dealt with it it's like and I know Yasmin went through the drug phase but no excuses if you become like that and that possessive and that threatening to people anybody who talks or to your loved one that you're in love with then you will end up in your own at some point until you move forward and deal with it and it's tough because those actions she tries to justify in the song but love isn't just you can't justify love becoming like that as they promise everything will be fine if the person is in love with them and she's in love with them it'll all be fine that doesn't make sense in fact that's actually selfish and sad it's a real song of people facing the truth here it's about facing the truth when you're like this and a lot of people hide it and they refuse to say i'm a bitch and i know i'm a bitch but that's just the way i am they actually it's not something you embrace or wears with a badge with pride they kind of hide it but they display it and the only way I the only thing I say to people when you encounter a person like that is turn around and walk away with your feet just leave them to it leave them to it they're old enough to deal with it and start but I've been brave enough to say it but I wouldn't put anybody else in my shoes I am six foot two in height and I am a broad guy so not really do I feel threatened but anyway overall in the end there is a dark intense portrayal of this love this is what the song is to me and I'm going to summarize it by saying where Yaling's, Yasmin's willingness to hurt others for the sake of their love highlighting the dangerous consequences of an intense infatuation meets to me almost like an inner cry for help but yet they don't want that help because their personality and their walls they put up defies that how do you get out of that situation by admitting you're at fault thanks for listening everybody and i look forward yasmin to another song from you an official video and one a bit more light-hearted with a lot more makeup take care